with puppets is so much fun. Mm. Uh, they're so funny and they're so cheeky, a lot of them, and they really do have a life of their own. Yeah, you're talking about them like they're real people. They're, they're like people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Our backstage puppet workshop where we're still... Puppet designer Basil Twist, who devised the Dementors in the Harry Potter films, isn't giving much away. So you're showing me chickens. I want to see Totoro. <laughs> right, well, you'll see chickens for now. <laughs> We're still keeping Totoro under wraps so that people can find the surprise of him when they come see the show. There are clues from Los Angeles where Basil created the Totoro puppet and others with the company behind the Muppets, Jim Henson, in a real East meets West collaboration. I would keep in touch with the Japanese as I went and they're very specific about Totoro's eyes, need to, the distance between his eyes and the shape of his head and how that works. Because once you come into a three-dimensional world, it's very different than a 2D world. What's not different is the music and the man behind it. The celebrated Japanese composer who persuaded the studio to allow this adaptation, showcasing Japanese heritage for a new audience. We have our own musical, own culture. So this is very important for me. To show the world? Yes. You saw the production last night. Yes. What did you think? Great show. Spectacular. So there is a daunting aspect of bringing something totally new and the adaptation of it being new on stage. To be bringing this treasure of Japanese culture to the stage, um, yeah, it's been one of the privileges of my life. We all love the film. I mean, m most of us grew up with it. Please get well soon.